This country was founded by freed African and Caribbean slaves seeking a new beginning. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring the West African country of Liberia, a nation with a rich history as a haven for freed slaves from the United States seeking autonomy and opportunity. Stay with us till the end to delve deeper into Liberia's captivating history and culture. Liberia is located on the west coast of Africa, bordering Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Côte d'Ivoire. It has a coastline along the Atlantic Ocean, stretching approximately 579 kilometers. Liberia has a tropical climate, with heavy rainfall along the coast and drier conditions inland. There is a distinct wet and dry season annually, the terrain consists primarily of flat to rolling coastal plains with mangrove swamps and rainforests along the coast. Inland, plateaus and low mountains rise above the coastal plains, reaching over 1,400 meters. The three main rivers are St. Paul, St. John and Sestos, originating from the highland regions and emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. Liberia has an abundance of natural resources, including substantial iron ore deposits, accounting for one-third of exports. Tropical timber from the coastal rainforests, covering 40% of the land. Alluvial gold and diamonds found in rivers and fertile agricultural lands along the coastal plains. The capital and largest city is Monrovia, located on the Atlantic coast. Other major cities include Buchanan and Ganta in the interior highlands. The area of modern-day Liberia was first settled by indigenous tribes as early as the 12th century AD. Groups like the Capella, Bassa, Gio, Cru, Grebo, Mano, Kran and Gola lived in the region. In 1821, the American Colonization Society helped establish a colony for freed American slaves at Cape Mesurado naming it Liberia. The capital city Monrovia was named after President James Monroe, who supported the colonization. The colony was seen as a solution to the free black population in America during the antebellum era. Thousands of freed slaves, known as Americo-Liberians, migrated to Liberia from the United States over the decades that followed. By 1867, nearly 13,000 Americo-Liberians had been relocated to Liberia. This group modeled the government, culture, and infrastructure on American systems. Meanwhile, indigenous tribes occupied and controlled most of the inland territory. The Americo-Liberian settlers monopolized trade and dominated the new social, political, and economic order. However, they faced armed resistance from the indigenous tribes. Tensions and conflict continued between the groups. On July 26, 1847, Liberia declared its independence, becoming Africa's first republic. Joseph Jenkins Roberts, an Americo-Liberian, was elected as the first president. A constitution and supreme court based on the American models were established. Politically and economically, Americo-Liberians controlled the country up until the 1980 coup. The indigenous tribes were excluded from power and faced economic and social marginalization under the Americo-Liberian minorities' rule. This created lasting resentment and tensions that contributed to conflicts in later decades. In the early 1900s, Liberia granted concessions to foreign companies for resources like rubber and minerals. This led to economic growth, but also accusations of exploitation. Later in the century, there were many coups and conflicts over power in Liberia. Liberia experienced two brutal civil wars from 1989 to 1997 and 1999 to 2003 which killed over 200,000 people. Child soldiers were used during the conflict. After the wars ended, Ellen Johnson Salif was elected president in 2005 and helped lead efforts to stabilize and rebuild the country. In 2017, George Weir became president. The economy and infrastructure are still recovering from years of warfare. 
Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to learn about this nation. Liberia's population is roughly 5.3 million, according to World Bank estimates. There are 16 major ethnic groups in Liberia. The Capella is the largest group, making up about 20% of the population. Other major groups include the Basa, Geo, Kru, Grebo, Mano, Kran, Gola and Mandingo. There is also a small minority of Americo-Liberians who are descendants of freed American slaves. Indigenous groups have lived in the region for centuries, while Americo-Liberians settled in Liberia starting in the 1820s. There have been tensions between the indigenous groups and Americo-Liberians over power, rights, and access to resources. While English is the official language, over 30 indigenous languages are spoken in Liberia. Some of the most widely spoken include Capella, Basa, Grebo, Mano, and Kru. Many Liberians speak their ethnic language and English, which is used in schools, government and business. Today, 85% of Liberians identify as Christian, with a majority being Protestant. About 12% of the population is Muslim, belonging mainly to the Maliki school of Sunni Islam. The remaining 3% practice indigenous African religions. Liberian cuisine has been influenced by the indigenous population as well as settlers from the United States and the Caribbean. Let's take a look at some popular Liberian dishes. A popular soup is Liberian peanut soup, which is thick and creamy. It's made with meat like chicken or beef, peanut butter, vegetables and spices, onions, peppers, okra and sweet potato are common additions. The peanut butter gives it a rich nutty flavor. Another staple is Dumboy, which is made from grated and fermented cassava. It's rolled into dumpling-like balls and served with soups and stews. Dumboy has a sour taste due to the cassava fermentation and soft, doughy texture. It is similar to fufu but is boiled. Finally, torborgi is a fried rice dish mixed with meat or fish. Onions, carrots, cabbage and sometimes macaroni are added to the rice. It's a filling, hearty meal that's often served with a side of chili pepper sauce. Liberia has a market-based economy. The World Bank estimates that its GDP is roughly $4 billion as of 2022. Leading sectors include mining, rubber production, forestry and agriculture. However, the economy remains underdeveloped due to political instability. Liberia had one of the highest unemployment rates in the world, at around 85% as of 2018, but lowered to 3.63% in 2022. Poverty is widespread, with over 50% living below the poverty line. Liberia has abundant natural resources, including iron ore, gold, diamonds, timber and rubber. Iron ore mining used to be a major economic activity, but this declined during the civil wars. Efforts are being made to revitalize the mining sector through foreign investment. Rubber production is also important, along with forestry products like timber. The main agricultural products are rubber, rice, cassava, palm oil, cocoa, coffee and timber. However, this sector faces constraints like poor infrastructure and low access to capital and markets. Subsistence agriculture employs over 70% of the population. Expanding commercial agriculture could help drive growth. Industrial and manufacturing activities are limited in Liberia. Existing industries involve agricultural processing, beverage production, mining and cement and brick production. The growth of manufacturing has been hindered by a lack of infrastructure and reliable access to electricity. The services sector accounts for nearly 60% of GDP. This includes retail, transportation, telecommunications and financial services. Liberia has a small export sector focused on commodities like rubber and iron ore. 
expanding production and exports could help boost growth. Music is integral to Liberian culture. Traditional music varies between ethnic groups, incorporating rhythms, melodies and instruments like drums, xylophones, rattles and horns. Folk music and songs are part of daily life. Contemporary Liberian music blends traditional influences with American styles like gospel, hip-hop and soul. Popular genres include Liberian hipko, folk music and capella. Liberian crafts draw on both indigenous artistry and techniques brought by settlers, weaving, wood carving and basketry using natural materials are common traditional crafts producing items like baskets, masks, tools and clothing. Liberia has a rich literary tradition. Folk tales and oral storytelling are important. Early Americo-Liberian writers in the mid-1800s published poems, histories and political texts. Contemporary authors have written novels examining Liberia's complex history and society. Notable writers are Roland T. Dempster, Wilton G. S. Sankawulo, and Patricia Jabay Wesley. If you enjoyed this video on Liberia, you'll love this next one.